Hi folks, so in this video I'm going to continue working on Pong in Pygame. I'll run the code to show how far I got in last time. So you can see it starts off and as soon as I click the game is live. So there's some AI, the ball knocks the ball back, uh, I can move up and down with the up and down arrow keys and then if the ball goes off the screen the CPU scores a point and the game stops until I click again to restart. So the only things really left to add in this final video are some player feedback and a little bit more of a challenge in terms of increasing the ball speed. So I'll start off with the player feedback and all that's going to be is just some additional text onto the screen. I will come into here where I've got at the moment this uh, live ball checking section. So this, this currently looks for whether or not the round is live. And underneath that, I will add a section where I'm just going to display text onto the screen. So I'll add a comment here saying print player instructions. And these are just going to be some prompts on the screen so the player knows what to do. You know, For example, that they have to click to start the game and then when either the player or the computer has scored, it's going to flash up to say, you know, someone scored, so click anywhere to restart. For this, I'm, more, I'm mostly just going to be using that draw text function that I defined earlier. So I'll start off with an initial if check. If live ball is false, so if the game has not started at all, then, or, or rather the game may have started but somebody has scored a point, only at that point do I want to be showing anything on the screen. At all other times I don't want any text appearing on the screen except for in the margin. So if the game has stopped for whatever reason, I need to look for why that's happened. So if the winner is zero, well that means that the game hasn't even started yet. So I just want to draw my text. So I call that draw text function and that took the initial variable was the text. So this is going to be the text that I want to display on the screen. Click anywhere to start. That's my initial instruction to the player. I want to specify the font, which I specified previously, the font color, and then the X position, which I'll just set to 100, and the Y position. So it's going to be kind of centralized. So screen height divided by two uh, minus 100. So these are all just variables that I'd used when I'd made the game previously. Uh, so I know that they, they position nicely on the screen. So that covers if the game has not started yet. Next, I want to look for if somebody has scored. If winner equals one, then it's the player that scored. I'm going to draw text on the screen and I'll keep that one there. I'll come back to amend it. But the first line that I want to add is just a confirmation of what's happened you scored. Whoops. You scored. Same font, same color. Uh, this is going to be a little bit further over on the screen because it's shorter text and in the same Y position. And now click anywhere to start. Well, that's going to go a little bit further down. Otherwise, it's going to just go over that text. In fact, I'll put it a little bit higher up. Yeah. And lastly, if winner is minus one. So if the CPU is scored, then I just change this. CPU is scored and the same X coordinate, same Y coordinate. And then this instruction is also going to be at the same point. So I'll just run the game again. And oh, straight away I've made a mistake here. Oh, I've forgotten a colon. Okay, try that again. There you go. So you can see there's some instructions there. Click anywhere to start, game starts and now I'm just going to let the ball go out of play. CPU is scored. You see the score count has increased and click anywhere to start. So that's all working pretty well. One thing that is missing though is I'm not actually showing, if I bring this up again, I'm showing the scores, but I'm not showing the ball speed. And because during this game I want to be able to increase that ball speed, I need to be able to show that up here as well. So where I've got my initial setup of the game board and the scoreboard, I'm going to add an extra line in here. And I'll just call the same function again, draw text. Uh, this text is going to say ball speed. And I'll add to that the string value of the ball speed. So this ball speed I can get from my instance of the ball class, which is called pong. Pong speed underscore x. It doesn't matter x or y because uh, both of the speeds are the same. But of course, I don't want it to give me a negative speed. And to avoid that, 
I just add an apps, which means absolute. So if it's negative, then it's still going to give me the positive value of that. So I add that. So that's my string that I want to be putting onto the screen. Then I specify the font, color, and the position. So the x coordinate is going to be screen width. Uh, this is the numbers that I used previously. And 15, which is just positioning in the same height as the rest. So I'll just run that again to double check. And there you go. Now I've got the ball speed showing up. And ball speed is set to 4, which is the initial default setting. So the very last thing that I want to do is to add a little bit of extra challenge to the game. And I'm going to do this by increasing that speed. So to do that, I'm going to use an extra variable, which is going to be a counter. I'll start this counter off at 0, and I'll define it way up here. So speed increase equals 0. So it starts off at nothing. And as the game goes on, so within my game loop, as long as the ball is live, I want to increase that variable at each iteration. So speed increase goes up by 1. So I don't want this to be just in the main loop, because then it's going to keep increasing even when somebody has scored and I'm waiting for, the, for a click of the mouse. I want this to only be happening when the, get the round is active. So now that I've got a counter and I'm having it increase by one as long as the game is running and I've got a live round, then I just need to add some logic for what happens with that speed increase. So I'll come down here and I'll just add an if statement right at the end. If speed increase is greater than 500, which is just the, the value that I've chosen, that's going to control how quickly I go up by one. Uh, so if it surpasses 500, then I want to first of all reset it so the counter starts again from zero. And then I want to adjust the speed of the ball. So if the ball is moving uh, to the left side of the screen, for example, then I want to, then it means that it's the speed x is negative, so I want to take away one. And if it's moving in the right direction, then speed x is positive, so I want to add one. So that's the checks that I need to do here. If pong.speed underscore x is negative, then increase the speed. So to increase the speed, I actually need to decrease it because it's a negative value. Minus equals one. Now I can copy this down. And if that speed is greater than zero, then I need to add one. Now I can copy both of these down and do the same for the y speed because both speeds need to increase and decrease or rather increase at the same rate. So if y is less than 0, and if y is greater than 0, whoops, that's the wrong one. Alright, so that should be everything. Uh, unless I've made a typo, I'm just going to run it to see. So I've got my ball speed, I'll start the game, and in the background that speed counter is going up. So eventually that should flick up to 5. There we go. And you can see visibly straight away the ball has sped up a little bit. So if I keep playing, it should go up again. There you go, gone up the speed, and it's definitely faster. So that's pretty much everything. Uh, that's the game complete. And of course, you could develop it a little bit further. You could add some more features to it, uh, change the color scheme, etc. But as far as developing the code, uh, that's essentially it finished. So if you found this useful, then please do leave a like. And if you want to see more of these kind of videos, then please subscribe. Thanks for watching.